Hello, light workers. So today I wanted to continue the conversation from the last video that I made about the patterns in your life. So my idea is that I want to help you heal faster than I can do one session per person. Because the faster you heal, the faster we get the collective to move up and to ascend faster. So uh, just like the, e the ETs are coming to help us because if they help us, it helps them in the same way I want to help you uh, heal faster. So, so today's conversation is going to be around parenting and what happened to you. So as I mentioned in the last video, you are in hypnosis from the time you're in the womb to the time you're seven years old. I learned that in a psychic class. Also, if you notice this black spot right there on my mouth, you see that? Um, I was doing something in my RV this uh, week while I was camping and I hit my head really hard right here because I went to do something and I hit my head like really hard right here and my mouth, I guess, must have been open. And I just, just somehow bit my lip, but I didn't, it wasn't bleeding or anything. Anyway, so that's the brown spot you see there in case it's, you're like, what the hell is going on? Okay, so going back to what I was talking about. So you are in hypnosis from the time you're in the womb to the time you're seven years old. That means that anything and everything that you're told by your parents, by your teachers, brothers and sisters, uh, ETs, if they're visiting you, um, bullies in the playground, you're gonna you're gonna believe it, okay? And going back to that, what what I tell my clients when they come to see me is the questions that I ask that I want you to ask yourself is how were you treated as a child? How did your parents get along with each other? Is one of the questions I ask. Were they divorced? Or were they together the whole time that you were a child? If they were together, how did they get along in front of you? Did they fight in front of you? If they fought in front of you, then that's gonna cause this, could, that could cause a safety issue in your life. Uh, it could not. It, it varies on people. Okay, so when I'm talking here, I'm generalizing. I'm not going into detail. So I'm sure some people are going to disagree and that's okay. You don't have to believe everything I say. I'm just doing this to help those that can be helped with the information that I have. So, okay, so going back to that, um, how did your parents get along when you were a child? How did they talk to each other? If, for example, your father abused your mother or your father hit your mother in front of you, there's several things that could come out of that. In your life, there could be several patterns that could appear there, such as um, you see men uh, in, a, in a, a light of um, abusers, and so you attract abusers. Another pattern that you could see from that would be that your mother was submissive and therefore you become submissive to your mate or your partner. Um, so watch out for that. So, and these are just examples. There's probably a couple of others that could come up. Just, it's just what's coming to mind right now. If you had, um, let's say that you had parents that were not home, were always working, you will have a sense and feeling of not being worthy of, um, like people don't pay attention to you or people don't feel like what you have to say is important. So start noticing the patterns. What were your parents like? 
the mother separately, the father separately, then together. And start asking yourself, what are those things that I see in my life that are, that could come from this, right? Um, the other thing I ask is, what traumas have you had in your life? What things have happened to you that are traumatic in your life? Because those also are going to shape the way that you see in life, your glasses, your reality glasses that are out there that you're using to look at your reality. And so that also affects your belief system, which is the system that ultimately creates your reality. So um, also, if you notice patterns of, for example, you go out with abusive men, for example, um, start to understand that if it's not maybe connected to your parents, it could be a self-worth issue for you. So it's not always going to point to the parents, but often it will. But it also can point to any traumatic experience that you had or to your self-worth from when you were little on how you were treated. You know, uh, sometimes parents will compare you or your, to your siblings, will say things that are, you know, when a parent sees a child crying, what's the first thing they say? Stop crying. Stop showing your emotions. And there we go. We are uh, holding on to those emotions. And um, that's where the, the slippery slope starts. So try to go back and understand what is it that from your childhood and from uh, early adulthood, when you were with either your parents or um, something traumatic that happened in your life, notice that, notice that because those tend to cause new beliefs in your system. And then you start acting out of those new beliefs. The best way to know what's happening in your life is to look at your reality because you, you're projecting your reality from your mind. Everything in your reality is projected from your belief system and also from your, um, from your belief system and from your vibration too, right? So it, it's, it's a combination. And I've been studying Marina Jacoby for the last week and uh, her videos really, really explain well how this works. How does the quantum field work? How does this hologram work? And what is it that we're here to achieve and do? And how our beliefs completely and absolutely shape everything that gets created in that quantum field. So I highly suggest you look at her videos. There is a video I saw today. Ah, I wish I had my phone with me. Um, that explained it in summary. And it was, it was really good. Actually, it was called Project Looking Glass. And I'll go ahead and put the the video link down here. So you guys can go look at it. But in, in it, she summarizes what she's been teaching all along about the quantum, um, the quantum field and how we generate our reality and how we affect, obviously, depending on our emotion and our vibration, where in that reality we, we fall. So Going back to how you um, how you heal yourself, ask yourself the questions again. What what am I what am I displaying here? For example, you have a husband that um, just treated you badly, and you felt low self worth, like you felt bad about yourself. Then 
look and see why. He, he is only displaying behavior based on your beliefs. So these people that are in our lives, they're only there to be a mirror to us so that we know what it is that we believe and to, to also teach us lessons, right? So they're here to teach us um, how to grow, how to love ourselves, how to have compassion for ourselves and have compassion for others. So understand that those people that are most difficult in your life are there for a reason and look at them and really, you know, understand, don't get mad at them. They're only providing you the opportunity for a lesson. So understand that, thank them for the lesson, thank them for opening your eyes. And if it keeps repeating itself, it's because you're not learning the lesson. So it's really important that you take time to um, look at your reality every day, every, every minute, if you can. If something's happening, you know, look at what's happening and, and sit down and analyze it. That's how I know what, what my universe is showing me. When my universe shows me stuff, I'm like, okay, why did that happen to me? Um, I've had a couple of really, really painful um, days with uh, an email I received that was very hurtful, very hurtful. And um, that I had sent this person an email hoping to connect because um, there was a, a strong connection there with our backgrounds. And um, instead she attacks me and I was shocked. And instead of, um, well, I would never retaliate. I'm not one for conflict. So, um, so it, it was so painful, but it was a, a lesson for me. It was again, a, a lesson that, so I looked back, I sat down and I said, okay, why did I manifest that? Because I had been in very high vibration that day and the day before and the day before. I was at the beach for three days. So I knew it had nothing to do with my vibration. And I tried to understand what was happening. And, and it was just really truly a lesson for me to understand where I am in the process. And I learned the lesson. So I'm hoping that I won't repeat that lesson again. So everything is a lesson for you and that the faster you accept it and, and transform it, transmute it, the more you raise your vibration and the more you move on to a better timeline. And um, it's something that I wanted to cover with you because I feel it's is that important. And that I also think it's going to help you so much to grow and to really get to the next level. I, I, I ultimately that's what I want. I want you to get to the next level, and because the faster we do it, the faster we can get to a good Earth and that new Earth that we're all looking for. Um, right now, I heard. It's gonna be in five years, between five and nine years. I, I seriously don't want to wait that long. I do not want to be in the current global environment we're in for that long. Um, I mean, a year is long enough. So I really beg you to please take the time to heal, to take the time to go back and do the work. It is painful painful, painful, painful work, but it's work that we need to do, especially people like me. I used to be, um, my heart was closed and I, I slowly learned to open it and to, and so for me it's super, super difficult because I've never been really emotional. I've always been kind of cold hearted until I started my spiritual journey. So now that I have, and I'm going through this, I feel like it's brutal to go through these painful times. So as you start uncovering those emotions, 
and the example of, of the really painful email I received um, from a spiritual person. Um, what I what I do when I get hurt is I look inside, I connect with the emotion. This emotion was deeply rooted in the heart. And I um, acknowledged it. I acknowledged the pain. And then I just said, you know, thank you for being here. Um, I am here, you know, on earth to learn emotion and to feel emotion. So thank you for, for being here. I appreciate your, you are my creation. It's in my reality, therefore I created it. So you're my creation. Thank you for being here. And um, thank you for showing me what it feels like to be hurt. And I let you go, I release you. Sometimes it will go right away. Sometimes you just have to sit with the emotion and just almost like a crying child, you have to sit with them and hold them until they feel better. And that's kind of what you have to do in this case. You have to sit with it and give it love and compassion, giving yourself love and compassion and allowing for that uh, emotion to now disappear. So I can't say that it goes away immediately or that it doesn't come back. I've had to do it a couple of times and I've done so now and I believe I'm over it. It could possibly come back, I don't know, but when it does, I will give it love again. So just do the work, look for the patterns, understand where they're coming from. And more than anything that I see in my sessions is people do not love themselves, okay? And that included myself when I started this journey. Uh, parents do not come with a manual and um, they obviously do not know how to raise children just like their parents didn't know how to raise children. So understand that we, um, that we did the best that we could, that they did the best that they could. And now it's just a matter of really healing, just, just healing, thanking, thanking for the lessons um, you have to understand that this creation that is your life, you have to love it because it's your creation. If not, you fragment your soul. So you don't want to do that. You have to, you, you want to take the time to, to heal that piece of you, that part of you. All emotions are part of you because they're your creation. So take the time to treat them like you would a child, a wounded child and give it love, attention, and uh, compassion, and then send it, you know, back where, where it needs to go, and it should move on. So when you transmute these emotions, you start moving up to the next timeline, and the next timeline, and the next timeline, as they get better, and better, and better. So again, my suggestion is to further understand the idea of the hologram, the idea of creating your reality. I um, would take a look at um, Marina Jacoby's Project Looking Glass video. And in there, um, she gives you a summary of what she teaches. So at least it gives you an idea and you don't have to get into the details if you don't have the time because she has a lot of videos and you have to start in season one. So just know that um, the information is there and it's amazing. Please let me know in the comments if this made sense. And if it didn't, what did it make sense and how can I explain it better so that you can start healing yourself? Okay, so I hope this made sense. I really love you guys and I want you to heal. I want you to level up and it's time to do that. All right, let's level up. Let's move up to the, to the fifth dimension so that we can pull the timelines in a lot faster than we are. Love you guys.